Hey guys, welcome back to Barbara Gaming. We're on investigation number six today, and I realized looking back at the other videos that the quality could have been better, but we're too far in to really care about that at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and go in the next bedroom and look for some more items. We're gonna go ahead and start by finding two plums. A strawberry, a scorpion, a horn, a rhino, a spider, two fishes, a cigarette holder, a horse, and grapes. You know, things that are definitely relevant to this investigation. Because, like, half of them are food items and animals, and I don't think any of them really had anything to do with, like, trying to kill Nick. <laughs> There's the horse, though. Is that... no. I usually, even though I just like literally read the list too. Oh, maybe it's a plume or I don't know now. Cause I thought I was looking for like plums, but that would be P-L-U-M. But I guess what I'm looking for is feathers basically. <laughs> and there's the strawberry. We need a scorpion. I'm gonna assume I don't- the horn could either be like the horn from like an animal or it might be like an old-fashioned horn or something. Is that not anything? Oh, maybe this is the horn. Yeah, there's the horn. Then we need two fishes. So there's one and there's the rhino and that's a dolphin so it doesn't count as a fish. So that's no, it's not the scorpion. Where I don't even remember where the scorpion was, and I think we had it last time too. Is the worst part. <laughs> okay, we need. And then I'm not quite sure. Is that no? It's not the cigarette holder. I'm assuming the cigarette holder is probably gonna look like a box or something, but I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for when it comes to that either. Oh, all right, that's cigarette holder. <laughs> Looks almost like a pen. Oh, there's the fish. Now we need a spider and a scorpion. And I think it was like the spider that I couldn't find last time and it was in a spot that I was like, oh yeah, there it is. Looks almost like a tick, but... Now where is the scorpion? Because that, I feel like, I found last time. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, that's a dog. <laughs> There's a pen. Ah, let's just use a hint. Oh. It actually blends in pretty good with that box. So, I'll give them that one. Alright, so we got a new guy. His name's Mr. Croft. Cool! St. Lou is a beautiful spot. We were looking for a quiet place and took to this cottage right away. You know, it ain't right, a young girl being on her own like that. I do try to keep an eye out for her. Alright, so that was Mr. Croft. Now let's go see what's cooking in the kitchen. We need some travel brochures, which are right there. These must belong to Ellen, but how can a housemaid afford to take a luxury vacation? Maybe Nick pays her well, I don't know. There's the stewed vegetables though. So now we need a duck, a banana, a rook, a tenderizer, a dragon, an oven mitt, handbell, and an iron. So let's see if we can find any of that stuff. Let's see, that's like not anything. There's the banana. Where is the duck? Is that... No, it's a mushroom. That's not anything either. Is that... No. <laughs> it's like a rolling pin. Is the bottle? No. I'm just like clicking random things. There's a tenderizer. And there's cheese grater. Where's like anything that I'm like looking for though? There's the duck. Now we need a rook, which I probably know what it is, but at the moment I can't think of what a rook is. There's the iron. <laughs> and there's the handbell. 
And the oven mitt should probably be with like the utensils maybe or somewhere like where they're gonna grab the food but I guess maybe not do we need horseshoes no there's the oven mitt and the dragon is right nearby now let's refresh my memory what a rook is oh okay it's like a chess piece I was thinking it was gonna be like a kitchen utensil so that's why I couldn't think of it I've worked for the family for years, old Mr. Buckley, before he died and Nick's father. I may not always approve of everything Miss Nick does, but it's her life to live. And I don't approve of strangers poking their noses into it. Alright, so I think I successfully gave her like three different voices, but it's like hard to do hers. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go to the cottage. We need Australian photos. I guess that's not an Australian photo. Alright, there's insects. Where are... Oh, here's like the newspaper scraps. Someone has ripped up a newspaper. I must find... Oh, that means we're gonna have to play puzzle with the paper again. Luckily, the newspapers are usually easy to find for the most part. Minus there's always like one single piece that I can't find. I didn't even know we needed the butterfly. Oh, here's the Australian photos. All the photographs are from Australia, and none of them show the cross. Then there is all this gooey business. It occurs to one that they are a little too Australian. Oh, so that old dude was Australian? Oh well, hey, you can like sound like the old dude voice. <laughs> okay, we don't need the kangaroos or the koala or the cat. There's the mask. I didn't even really like read the list either. Wait, this is the photo frame? No. There's like an empty frame, so that can count. And there's the last newspaper article. It made like the noise where a message was supposed to pop up, but it didn't. There's the ostrich though. Now we need a chameleon and a kettle. And those are not kettles, but that thing is. So now, where is Karma Chameleon? <laughs> I don't see it. Usually they're like rather easy to find. Oh, I have to like sneeze. Hopefully I can hold it. I'll just use a hint. Oh, now that I see it, it was like not that hard to find. <laughs> All right, so this is Mrs. Croft. Miss Croft, I may be in a wheelchair, but I know better than most what goes on in this town. Nick isn't well liked in St. Louis. She's a little too free spirited for some people, but the men fancy her. She, even that trap little lawyer, Mr. Vice, is smitten. Yeah, where did my arrow go? Okay, thank you. So now the only place we have to look is the sea cliff steps. And there's not really any relevant clues here. So we gotta find the lizard, the leg bone. Wait, is that? Yeah, I was gonna say that better be a leg bone. <laughs> Do we need the boot? No, but we need the brown shoes and a gold vase and a bat and a cactus, two stars, which that's a shell. Cause I remember one of the stars was like a starfish and I thought it was up, now it's down here. And there's the duck and the dolphin and the turtle. And where is that other star? Cause I know we had to find stars last time. And no. <laughs> and I think we're looking for a baseball bat, but we might be looking for like a bat bat at the same time. I don't really remember to be honest with you. But I'm not like finding. All right, there's the lizard. Now, where is the gold vase? Right there. Now we just need the bat, the cactus, and the star. 
now we just need the bat and the star. <laughs> and why can I not find the star? Because I know last time I did find it without a problem. Oh, right here. Now we just need a bat, which... Um, I'm gonna go hint on it. Okay, it was the animal bat, because to be honest, I was like looking for a baseball bat. <laughs> All right, so it's time to decrypt the ripped up newspaper again. So as always, I'm going to start with the title because that's the easiest thing to rebuild. And then the edges will follow suit. I guess that's not it. This one probably goes down there. Oh wait, no, it goes up here. Then I'm going to say this one goes there, and that's the bottom, is it this corner? Alright, it was that corner, and that one, yeah, that's not going to work. We need more edges first, you fit there perfectly, although I think this Paper is even like worsely shredded than the first one. Where? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, why is that not fitting anywhere? Yeah, yeah, damn. Some of these are literally just like tiny shreds. S now, still gotta get a little more. I think that one goes there. Then we take that one, and the paper is called The Scotland Yard Seeks Identity of Lady F Oh, I think that's just the name of the article, not the actual paper. <laughs> okay, we can put you there. Now we need to put you right there. The article slowly coming together. That one goes down there, which means this one probably goes here, and that one goes there. So now we just need to fill in the rest of the pieces and flip some of them. I think we got through this paper quicker than the first one, too. No, it's right side up, right? <laughs> That's weird. Wait, there we go. Only a couple more. That one can go there. And there we go. The newspaper article seems to have little to do with the case, but one never discards information. It may yet prove relevant. All right, so yeah, there's the newspaper article. I don't feel like reading it. That was a fun, quick round. I could use some water though, because my throat is dry as usual. And for some reason I thought we were going to have a comic scene, but I guess not. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, have a good day. Bye.